Hello everyone, welcome to Let's Get Technical episode number two. I guess that's what we're calling it now because I decided so. Um, on the last episode we learned how to install Dream Scene and how to you know just put a video like a video wallpaper right on your desktop and uh, that was good but now we need to learn how to make and get our own videos because not everyone likes blue haired girls who are listening to music but you know the theme will be similar <laughs> here so don't you don't blame me um, go ahead and open your browser and um, let's go to YouTube and uh, in YouTube we're going to be using YouTube to get the video that we want to use as your as our video wallpaper so for example you could find some whales alright some very relaxing footage of whales and this could be our video wallpaper you know just have some whales swimming around why not why not that's the question you should ask yourself but this today we are going to be using this particular concert video I think it's pretty cool. I just found out about it, about this whole Vocaloid, Atsune Miko stuff, and why not? I want to have this as my video wallpaper dream scene thing. So the first thing I want to do so now we have to get the file. Um, there's many ways and methods to do this. You can use your favorite, but if you don't know, I'll give you mine which is a website called keepvid.com this website hasn't let me down so far and uh, I don't, to my knowledge at least, it never installed a virus or anything like that so you go to keepvid.com and you enter in the URL from the video and you click download and it says the Java plugin needs permission to run it said run this time run and there you go. It gives you a list of all the possible uh, links to download this video at uh, very different qualities. If you didn't get that message, you might need to install Java. So go ahead and do that. It's free and it's very useful Java. You can play lots of games with it and blah blah blah. And then you can come here and download the file. For our purposes, we are going to use the MP4 720p file. So download MP4. It's pretty fast download. And now we are going to need our encoder because I don't know if I mentioned this before. Dream Scene will only accept MPEG or Windows Media Video files. So this MPEG file that we are downloading, this I'm I'm sorry, this MP4 or FLV file that we are downloading simply won't play in Dream Scene. So we're going to need a program that's going to transfer that file onto Windows Media Video. And for that we are going to use IMTOO or IM2 Video Converter. Just click here, IM2 Video Converter, and you can go ahead and download the Video Converter Ultimate trial. You don't have to buy it you can use the trial, It'll, it limits you to about three minutes but that's okay because as you will see we only use 30 seconds so no biggie and I'm going to show you why and explain to you why in just a moment so go ahead and download it I already downloaded it and installed it so let's go to our video right here's our video 
Now I'm going to run our encoder program. So you just drag that in. Just drag that in and you got the file. Now here's what's going to happen. We're going to go step by step to understand how it works and why we're doing the things we're doing. Now the first thing you'll want to do is select the video. Don't forget you need to have it selected. If you don't have it selected the things up there change. You are not really changing the settings for the video. So have it highlighted at least and uh, then come here to profile and type WMV for Windows Media Video and click the Windows Media Video HD codec like we don't need the PS3 one or the the phone the one for phones or something we just want the, the one the the regular one and now some very basic stuff here are the video size we're going to pick our video size like the this is a this is a very good video size by the way uh, my desktop is bigger than this but this is good like it will stretch a bit but this is already a pretty good quality but either way you should get the one that's closest to your desktop and that you feel comfortable with I choose this one video quality high audio quality normal no split these things don't really help what we need is to come here and click show advanced options here and then we click this arrow so we can see a lot a lot more options and um, this brings me to the start time and the length alright we don't want a full length we want a 30 second length and why 30 seconds you know like why not the full video if you'll notice we'll come here and I'm going to run the video. Now, the video looks great. And but I, I want to show you something. If you'll notice, we come here to the start of the video and play. And she's coming out of the stage and it looks beautiful it's great but you have to consider something which is the dream scene in reality is just a loop because you you really only want about 30 seconds of video on your dream scene you don't want a full the full three minute uh, movie or if it was a, a full length movie like two hours you would only put on your dream scene your favorite scene from that movie so like a car chase or uh, a dialogue scene basically just a few seconds so from this movie we're only going to get 30 seconds from this concert and we're going to make a loop and if we are going to be making a loop we might as well not use this beginning part because it will get pretty annoying to see her cut and suddenly come out of the stage every 30 seconds it would break the loop so what we're going to do is get her here at 10 seconds when she's already dancing and if we add about 30 seconds to 40 seconds and then she's still dancing and it will make a nice loop if we go from 10 to 30 I mean, uh, excuse me, uh, t 10 to 40 seconds. You'll see what I'm talking about in a moment. All right. So, back to here, we are going to say that we want to start at 11. I've tried this before, so I'm pretty sure 11 is better, but we'll see. 11 is better than 10. Just because of the timings, we'll end up with a better transition if we start at 11 and make it 29 but uh, I could be wrong but let's see alright 
the resolution is still this is is good. Now the bitrate. The bitrate is basically the video quality. You want something around 5,000 is already very good. Uh, you'll see that it's got a lot of them, right? 8,000 is about one megabyte per second. So a 30-second video would be 30 megabytes. So we're just going to pick 5,000, which is going to make our video around 20 megabytes. And it's still pretty good quality, but it's up to you. You can experiment with how low you can go. Uh, but if, of course, if you go too low, around 1,000, you will start getting some really bad quality. It will look like um, a 360p YouTube video maximized. It won't look good. Uh, you'll see a lot of artifacts. Now, these things, we can just uh, leave it in on auto because I'm pretty sure it's not going to be needed. It is going to be fine. And now the audio. Now, the audio, we definitely want to disable the audio because we do not want, like, even though we have a nice video wallpaper, we do not want it to constantly be playing music. Like, you couldn't do anything else if the audio was playing. You couldn't listen to your own songs or see a movie. You would have to go and turn off the wallpaper every time. So it's basically just better to disable audio. And uh, now that that's done, we pick the resolution and the bit rate, and we disable the audio. We are going to convert the file, and let's see how it how it ends up. Ah, uh, you can only convert three minutes. That is fine. Thank you. I'm to video converter. You are a godsend of a program. Thank you very much. Remind me later. All right, here we go. We have the conversion. It's pretty fast because it might not look like it, but I'm on a fast computer. Yeah. And let's uh, see where the file is going to end up. It's going to end up in your videos folder. This is from an early experiment. This one. Just to make sure. Yes. Done. This one, just a minute ago, completed. So it's this one. Not this one, thank you very much. And now let's play it and see if it worked, if there is sound or not. There is no sound. Victory. All right. So there is no sound, and we made sure the resolution was right for our desktop, and we converted to Windows Media Video. So now, finally, we can use it with Dream Scene. Let's just minimize these windows. And so with a simple right click and set as desktop background, boom, we got it. We got a cool new video wallpaper. And as you can see, we skipped the early scene where she rises from the stage. And uh, any moment now, we're going to see the transition. In three, two, one. Oh, okay. Well, Transition wasn't too bad, but it's acceptable if you are, if only you will only notice if you're really paying attention. So that's it. I hope you guys learned a bit, and I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you liked the video. Um, I'm just about to upload the next one, so see it, and I hope you enjoy it. Thank you.